Yeah, boy. Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Pearson, and in two weeks I'm moving to Warsaw, Poland. Why, you might ask? I'm actually going to school over there. I'm attending university in Warsaw, and I will be there for four years. So, it'll be an experience. Uh, but basically, the reason I'm starting this so early is I need to go through, like, all of my clothes, and I'll show you. It's quite a lot. Um, I've This is like clothes that I've had for literally years and years and years and years and so I need to basically go through all of it and pick what I want for the next four years which is going to be a challenge because I don't even know what I want to wear to uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it into like three piles, uh, a pile that I want, a pile that I think the game plan is I'm going to stick it into like three piles. You said that already! I'm going to put a pile of stuff I like need, need. Um, a pile that I want, but I can just, you know, ship, have my parents ship it or come back another time and get it. And then a pile that I'll just, I won't even, like, I don't even fit in that I can just, like, donate to, like, Goodwill or something. So I'm gonna start on that and I will keep you updated. Okay, so I spent about three hours, give or take, sorting all my clothes or whatever, and uh, it's starting to get dark and I need to go run. And so I think I'm gonna pack probably tomorrow. So I'll, I'll hold up on that, but I'll show you, as you can see, it's. <laughs> It looks like organized chaos. Um, there's like five large trash bags uh, filled with clothes. These are all clothes going to like Goodwill. The stuff that I outgrew or not gonna wear anymore. A um, bunch of old like button ups that from like homecoming and prom that I'm never gonna wear again. Shoes, some soccer stuff that I don't, I'm not gonna play soccer over there or at least for teams. I don't need any of that. But I did get rid of a lot. This is all the stuff that I actually like want to bring to Poland. I don't know if I'll be able to get it all this trip. I will be visiting every once in a while, so maybe I can just bring clothes, you know, whenever I visit and just bring them back. Um, but pretty good. It's not nearly as much as I had, so it's nice to downsize. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Only took me like three hours, but you know, I'm gonna call it here. And I'm probably gonna pack tomorrow or in the next couple days, it doesn't really matter. I uh, still have some time. But uh, yeah, no, I think today was pretty successful. Got rid of a lot of clothes, which is nice. But um, yeah, I'll catch you uh, catch you on the flip side. Hello there. Okay, so it's been a few days and I went ahead and packed. I didn't film that much because it's not that exciting. It's just me packing. Uh, I did move into my game room so I would have more space. And I could just sit out on my uh, ping pong table. Um, but I'll show you what I did. So all I used were these space saver bags. And all you basically do is you put your clothes in there and it will suck all the air out. So you put your clothes in there, you make it, you uh, squeeze the bag tight so there's no air left in it. You take off this little cap. Um, and then you get the pump and you pump all the air out and so it's basically it's vacuums uh, Seals the bag and so it's it saves a lot of space because it gets all the air out Terrific, so you're able to fit a lot as you can see I literally I fit all of my clothes pretty much in this one bag The one problem though that you have with using these uh, space saver bags is the weight because you can fit a lot But a lot of airlines obviously have a weight limit for each checked bag um, so you just have to be mindful of that. So we had to take a few things out and I'll put it in my like carry-on bag. But yeah, that pretty much does it for packing. Uh, I am bringing my electric guitar and I've already packed and got that all squared away. Um, so now all I have left is just go pick up my study visa at the uh, Polish consulate in Houston and then I'll be ready to fly out of here. So um, I'll see you on the big day. All right, I just woke up. It's like 9 a.m. I need to go get ready and then I guess load up and then we'll be out of here. Get away, car top down, then we're driving just to feel young Moving away to the sea, moving away, can't you see? Sand in your feet, feel the breeze in the summertime Stars in the sky, wind down for the first time Moving away to the sea, moving away, can't you see? We'll drink any by the ocean, it's our favorite potion Come on baby, let me tell you one time that our days will never end, yeah No, our days will never end, yeah no. Come on, baby, let me tell you one time that I'll fire that I love it till you never break apart. And we're moving no way to the sea. Moving no way, can't you see? 
All right, well, I said goodbye to my family and uh, I'm all checked in pretty much. I went through security, went smoothly. Uh, I had to go do something with my guitar or whatever because it was too big to go through the, like, the scanner. Uh, but besides that, I'm all good. So I'm gonna head to the gate and I guess we'll uh, board and fly away. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is the flight is nine and a half hours. It's not too bad. So I'm flying from Houston to Amsterdam and then in Amsterdam, I am gonna have an eight hour layover which is gonna be a little rough because I'm obviously gonna be exhausted from uh, this overnight flight, but it shouldn't be too bad. So once I land in Amsterdam, I'll chill for eight hours. From Amsterdam to Warsaw, it's about uh, two hours. It's not a bad flight. It's currently 12.51, getting to Warsaw at like 4 p.m. That's like obviously in Poland's time. And so it'll be like 9 a.m. here tomorrow, if that makes any sense at all. That probably doesn't make any sense at all, but hopefully it does. Okay, so I just landed in Amsterdam a little while ago. I went through security again and I had to get my bag rechecked for my new flight, but I made it safely. Uh, it was a pretty good flight. Not that many people were on it, so it was super comfortable. It went by pretty quick. It wasn't too bad. So now all I do is I'm just gonna sit here for like eight hours. I think it's like 9 a.m. right now. My flight's not till two. I have some time to kill. I'm just gonna watch Netflix and stuff, so it won't be too bad. Thank God. My brother just called an Uber, so I'm gonna go hop in the Uber and then I guess head to the apartment. I'm outside and oh my God, it feels amazing. Here I am. I made it. Been a long journey. <laughs> Probably gonna order some Uber Eats and then get some sleep because I am exhausted. I've been awake for maybe like 27 hours, roughly, something like that. I don't know. But no, I finally made it. It's like actually kind of cold out here, which is weird because I'm obviously from, I'm from Texas, so it's not really hot. But I guess I'm gonna go get some sleep and then uh, that ends this video. Thank you for watching and um, I'll keep you, keep you posted on this little journey here.